Hey guys, this is 42-year-old Adrian. What a cool guy. He's a psychotherapist that's had pain in his neck and upper back for over 20 years. His wife came into me a couple weeks ago and he decided he wanted some care. He's tried to work out, he's been to the joint several times, but none of it's worked. He was impressed by what I did for his wife, so he's here. Here's some of his range of motions showing his back pain. Here's his shoulder pain. He has lots of different little issues. Knee pain, sleep issues, acid reflux, and he's a chronic self-adjuster. We took some x-rays, you can see some of the issues here. Booyah! Right here. That's gonna be a favorite thing, work on this. My name is Adrian, I am 42 years old, and I am a therapist for um, psychoanalysts for gotcha. people with severe mental illness. I've been having back pain for about 20 years, I would say. Upper neck. Upper neck? Yeah, higher, higher back, epidural right in the center of my neck. Uh, I've got in uh, pills. And then I just did exercises that were supposed to be corrective. I went to the joint, but that had that didn't do anything. Oh, they have a wonderful set of doctors that have just graduated from school. It's like the Barber College. Yes, exactly. His wife came in, did a two-week program with us, and so tell us how she's doing. She's a different person. Uh, just she'd been managing without even actually saying anything of how much pain she was in. Everything is a lot different. She's not in pain anymore. Wonderful experience with her. The the thing I remember about her is that she walked out of my class multiple times because she hated me so much. But he brought her back. She endured. Uh, she told me no a bunch of freaking times. I hated her for that, but I still think it got through that thick skull of hers and she um, is doing better. And you know who's really doing better? He is, because he has a better wife. So anyway, she didn't do a video because she was scared to be on camera, so I appreciate you sharing that story. Uh, lower neck. We have pain between the shoulder blades. He also has right shoulder pain, right? Yes. Knees, um, not so much pain right now. They just, I'm always feel unbalanced to leaning toward my right and my knees cave in. Terrible sleep for how long? It's 2001. Sinus issues, heartburn once a week. The biggest thing, he's a terrible self-adjuster. Oh no, I'm not, he's lying. Yeah, how many times do you self-adjust your neck? All day long. Did it the worst in front of my face. It was like, just like an F you to you, Dr. Thayer. When he's in my office with his wife and I'm like, you should stop doing that. Yeah, I got a couple more weeks left. I can still do this until I come see you. I'm entitled. Hey, any pain in your back there, tension in your back? No. Any pain there? Tension in your low back? Tension in the lower back. Three. Pain in your neck there? Probably around uh, 70. How about that? Probably about a three to four. <coughs> <coughs> Any pain in your knees there? Yes. On well, a scale of one to ten, how about? Uh, I would say probably like an eight or a nine. How much pain in your shoulder there? About, probably about an eight or nine. Going down actually is where I a lot of times feel pain. Like on is the it right now? Is it down right now? Like when I went down, I was like, ugh, I felt like something. How much? Oh, uh, that was probably like a nine ten. Gotcha, perfect. Okay. Took a look at his X-rays. Uh, definitely some reversals. Has an occiput issue. His neck is kind of messed up, and there's arrows pointing to the X-rays. You take a look at those. We got left occiput tilt, left TMJ, and lower thoracic arthritis. Here we have a ten degree scoliosis, pubic bone misalignment, and constipation. One third atlas wear low reverse curve and arthritis, and we finish it up with sway back and arthritis. I personally think that most of his issue is him between his ears. So we're gonna go mid cervical because his, like I said, it's really like a C4 problem, not a C3 problem or a C2. And so he's a bad self-adjuster. How'd they go? You okay? Good, perfect. That's uh, nice. Mid cervical C4. I'd like to go through the joint more, but Upsy daisy, Adrian. We always like to help our patients up after the first visit. We're also reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. As a self-adjuster, they always want to self-adjust, so don't do it. Easy does it. Here we go, let's take a look. Feel lighter. Gotcha. We're gonna walk here in a second. When we walk, it's gonna help recalibrate your spine, and then we'll check to see how you feel. Recalibration is very important. We want to spread that neck adjustment through the entire body. It only happens through walking. Something I don't feel usually. What? what like is I that? want to straighten out. You want to straighten out? Yeah. I would say just a little bit, feel a little clear. Like usually I feel like this. Clear what? In the thinking, brain? Yeah. I got you. Okay. Okay. There was no pain there, right? But is that feeling different? Actually less pain in the knees. How was it? Three a minute ago? Pop. Uh, but the, I would say a two. What about there? Any change there? Yeah, what I forgot what I said earlier, but it's kind of it's, de too. it's definitely less. Okay. Um, I would say I think it was like a six or seven before. Yeah, right now I'm at a three. Oh, that's way better. Yeah, range of motion wise. How about the pain there though? I think it was a three before. Like one. Okay. 
That was an eight a minute ago. That one's about, let me see, what's about seven and a half. Gotcha. Now lower it down. This was a nine or a ten. That one's definitely better. Gotcha. That was a nine, I think, or eight on your feet, on your knees, I mean. Yeah. I mean, there's, I would say it's about a four or five. I feel like I've, I'm cheating because I was here with the, with the misses. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah, yeah. But you haven't got to feel it. Right. So, I mean, what is it be, What is it like, the juxtaposition between seeing it happen to your wife and having it feel it to your body? Uh, like, I'll be honest, I'm still, like, processing. Exactly. Which no, is happening. Yeah. Yeah. I just try to get his first impression, guys. He he doesn't want to say he's amazingly better because he's he kind of <laughs> in disbelief, too, which happens to everybody. I mean, it's just a very common thing. Uh, he wants to be better, but it's still hard to believe that he is better in just how long was that? Oh, yeah. It was quick. And, I mean, for me, I feel like the... The tension that I always feel like I want to like, it's it's, it's just not. I got one more story for you. Yeah. Why are you here? Your wife said you could go back to the joint or you could do what? <laughs> she goes, do you want to go back there? They ain't helping you. Or withstand this mental abuse. Exactly. So anyways, he kind of, she said, go to see Dr. Thayer because I'm tired of spending money at the joint. It's not helping you. Sort of something like that, right? Oh, yeah, I got a got grandfather plan too though. You I'm got a grandfather plan? Yeah, a grandfather plan. Twice. $50 a month, man. You, yeah, I think I'd go back after this. I would go back, of course. It's cheap. Okay, say goodbye. Top of my uh, head. It does go top of your head? Yeah. Gotcha. We call that a referral point, by the way. These muscles have little brains of their own now. Get those released, or you're going to always have headaches or neck pain from when you contract those shoulders. I feel no pain, and I felt an extremely, um, a great deal of pain before. Yeah. What else do you feel psychologically? Just clear. Oh man, of all the stuff that's hurt, that hurt the most so far. But this one? The, oh, yeah. the way you did? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to drop down. His angle of his head. So I have to actually angle my adjustment way down. Way, way, way down there like that. How you watching it for two weeks is different than actually doing it. Learning through her struggles with the homework and everything, how important it was to do the <clears throat> how hard it is to do the homework. But you listened for two weeks, sort of. Yeah. You were sort of here in and out. Mm -hmm. How hard is it to do it versus watch it? It's a lot easier to watch. <laughs> and you don't realize and how And criticize. Important. Yeah. And you're like, you know, you need to do what he says, my honey. <laughs> yeah. First of all, I came in here for the neck pain and I wasn't really paying attention to much else, even though I was kind of had an idea that other stuff was going on, but I'm happy that I'm having better like movement with my with my knees, and yeah, the back was and it's definitely the thing that bothers me the most. But when I ignore it, other things start hurting. But now that I can catch when pain shows up, I'm able to deal with it. Okay, Bring none of that made down. any sense to me either. Yeah. <laughs> So he came in with neck pain. That was his primary thing you saw in the first video. Like, if he just fix my neck, I'll be so happy. How much freaking better is your neck? 100% better. Exactly. Your right shoulder was an issue too? About the same, but, but still. We've had moments yeah. where it's really good. Mm -hmm. But I think there's more of an issue with his clavicle and his shoulder, which we're gonna get into next week. I would say it is 20% better. Sleep, 20 years of tossing and turning. Uh, I would say quality of sleep is about 90% better. Brain fog that you could hear in this first video, how much better is that? 100% better. You can think a lot better, right? Yeah. Even though he sounds like gibberish, he talks. Self-adjusting, how, how much better is it self-adjusting? I would say about 80% better. I still- I would say more like 60 better. because he's like a crack addict, you know, like a meth addict. He's like, yeah, I quit, I quit. <laughs> those cheeseburgers <laughs> uh, the knees my uh, my knees the, the, the they're I would say a good 70% better it's it's pretty hard but I mean it you start seeing the when you put effort it becomes easier and it's a lot of just accepting that you got to do the homework I mean yeah the pills don't only do so much and I stopped doing taking pills but this is something yeah. I'm making a conscious effort to do and yeah. I'm doing better without pills. Do you think uh, bringing obscure talk about pools and parks and stuff into our conversation actually helps your pro your, your um, progress here? It helps my mental health. <laughs> we laugh a lot mm. at him. Mm. So uh, anything else you want to share? Uh, that's all. Good. Tell, tell your wife, thanks for uh, putting me in the class.
Thank you for putting me in the class. Yes. Uh, this boy has a really, really flexible neck, and so I'm adding a little bit of extra rotation in here because to lock him out is very difficult. Right there. So, listen in. So I can't wait to start working on this, this cloud over mm. here, this right here. That's going to be a favorite thing to work on this. This side hurts. <laughs> it just <laughs> tickles my heart. Still, this one's just like... But this one's really painful. Yeah. Like, that's the one I defend here. A little more rotation. This guy has, again, a lot of flexibility, a lot of laxity in his neck. All those years of self-adjusting have not... There's a perfect example of when a patient doesn't listen to you, wastes a weekend. We got to stay on task and do what you're told. I hate them wasting time for themselves. That's really what I hate. Today we're gonna get his first atlas adjustment and let you guys watch. Okay, right up here. He's actually a little nervous. Look at his eyes are shaking a little bit. I was a little nervous because he self-adjusts so much and I've had trouble with the rest of his neck that I was like, is that how it's gonna go? Went pretty good. Different, right? Yeah. yeah. You've never had anything like that before, I guarantee it. Oh no. You're like a fucking exorcist. <laughs> exorcist, right? Funny thing is everybody goes, if you're just more flexible, I have all these freaking stupid physical therapists and, you know, movement therapists and yoga instructors. If they just was more flexible, you're as flexible as they get and you still have problems for 20 years. So it's not, flexibility is not the key. Mm -hmm. So we're going to bring this all the way to range of motion here. Come this way. I can't wait to see how you're going to do. So we're going to adjust his shoulder. Good, not too bad, right? Yeah, I felt it like across my... Oh, that hurt. No, no. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. A little bit, a little bit of pain there, huh? Mm-hmm. I'll do this one first. Hello, my little friend. Oh, that hurt at all? Yeah, I felt oh, it hurt. okay, huh? Ooh, wee. Oh, it already popped, already popped. Oh, Woo! Chaka oh. chaka chaka. You're gonna love this. <laughs> no, the you're gonna, <laughs> you're gonna fucking love this, man. It's gonna feel so much better. Oh. <laughs> and she just wants to fuck me up today. Put my gloves on. It's gonna get wet. <laughs> They're not wet. <laughs> and you'll feel a difference on these. <laughs> The reason I like the gloves, by the way, guys, is because they're so sticky. They stick to this fat head, and you can get in there and really adjust deeply. Can you do it again? Interesting. One more time here. Good. Okay. 